I like YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Beauty by Lenore across all my social media platforms. If you would, go ahead and thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on that notification bell so you are notified when I upload. And of course, go ahead and get a conversation started with me in the comment section below and share it amongst your family and friends. But today, today we're doing a cumulative drugstore haul. And when I say drugstore, I'm talking about your Dollar General, CVS, Family Dollar, Walgreens, Sally, and Walmart. So if you're ready to see what type of hair care, skin care, and makeup that we got in doing this drugstore haul, didn't happen all in the same week, guys. A lot of this stuff is from April, May, and June. So let's go ahead and get to watch. You're my bitter one taking me home. Hey guys, the first thing that came in is coming in from Dollar General. And what I got in from Dollar General is going to be their new makeup beauty line that they have, the Believe Beauty. I wanted to go ahead and try and test that out. Uh, they didn't have my foundation shade in stock, so I wasn't able to get and grab that. But I did go ahead and grab their beauty sponge. It comes in a little container like this. And once you wet it, this thing swells up huge. Huge. I did use it today with my actual makeup and I can say I love this sponge. This was a great buy and the sponge was just $4 guys. And I did go ahead and get their Belief Beauty. This is their Pretty in Prime Stay Put Makeup Primer. And I haven't tried this one yet, but I'm definitely going to go ahead and give it a try the next time I start my actual makeup. The next thing we have coming in is coming in from CVS. I don't know why I got two items from CVS and they give these long coupons. You know, I probably should have went ahead and used this $2 extra bucks rewards before it expired. But yeah, I got this one when I was in Miami. And I got this one on April 16th. So this is from the CVS in Miami. And these products were $7.99 each from the CVS in Miami and I got it back on April 16th. That is pathetic. You like Lynn, that is so pathetic. You like Lynn, girl, so pathetic. But anyway, so these are the two highlighters I got from Wet n Wild. I couldn't find them here in Atlanta and I left one of my um, eyebrow spoolies here when I went on vacation to Miami and the CVS was right across the street from the hotel. I'm like, there we go. I can go across there and get one. So I brought an eye brush uh, spoolie from Wet n Wild for my brows. But then I had the nerve to see that they had the Wet n Wild loose highlighters there and I love these. It was sold out online. I couldn't get it online. I couldn't find it anywhere here in Atlanta. So I got Hustle and Glow and I got All Glown Up. So Hustle and Glow is more of your champagne gold. And all glown up is more of your rose gold, but it's like a champagne rose gold. Let me go ahead and swipe them for you guys. And of course, I did go ahead and, you know, play in the ones that were opened in the store. Because you know how people always be opening stuff in the store and you be like, you have absolutely no class. If you don't save something for somebody else so they can get it. So the ones that were open, I was able to go ahead and swatch. But I'm going to go ahead and swatch these for you. If you guys have nails and different things like that and they are sealed on the inside like this, take your either tweezers that you use for your eyelashes, just take them and just go in here and you can pull it off really great without ruining your manicure. And when I say it comes right on off, see how easy that is to pull? And then you just go in and just pull it on up. So it's pretty easy to open. So since we got this one open, so this is the rose gold one. This is all blown up. Let's go ahead and take a little bit out. This is what it looks like. So let's go ahead and swipe this for you guys. Ooh. Ooh. That is blinding. Wow. That is. Oh, oh, okay, wait a while. Oh, okay. I, I, I see you. So let's go ahead and swatch the next one. And this one is the Hustle and Glow. And this is what Hustle and Glow looks like. I already know that's going to be blinded. Wet and Wild. The one thing that Wet and Wild always does well is their highlighters. 
their highlighters are just so pretty. So this one up here that seems to melt more into my skin tone is the it's the champagne rose gold colored one, and this is the champagne gold. One. So both of them will work with um, women of color. Just giving you guys a heads up on that. That's 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 really pretty. So the next thing that we got in is coming in from Family Dollar. So the thing about Family Dollar, and this is what I try, I'm knocking stuff over guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but the thing that I tell people about Family Dollar is, girl don't, don't, don't get to sleep in this slipping on Family Dollar for containers and trays and different things that you need. But the first thing I got was this water bottle to help with when I'm doing different things with my hair. I use sometimes aloe water and sometimes I use just regular plain water and sometimes I'll mix different things in so I need different spray bottles. So this is one that I could get that I could just use as just a plain regular water spray bottle. And this was a dollar at Family Dollar. And of course I went ahead and got my favorite. These are my favorite charcoal cleansing nose strips and these are coming from Global Beauty Care. They're a dollar each. So if you ever see these inside of Family Dollar, they come three strips in the pack. They are $1 for each pack. I always clear the shelf off. When I go in and see them, if they have four, I'm taking four. If they have eight, I'll be nice. I'll just take seven and leave one. But if it's anything less than five, I'm grabbing all five. But these are amazing to make sure you don't have any black hairs, no white hairs in between here. And because it comes out over here, it also unclogs any pores along here and down along the side of your nose and right here on the tip of your nose, it also unplugs pores there. So these are amazing for that. And I also went ahead and picked up the some exfoliating masks and uh, some regular face masks because Freeman is a brand that I really, really love when it comes to their face masks. They had an exfoliating pink salt clay face mask. I went ahead and grabbed this and this was a dollar. I went ahead and got their purifying grapefruit and this is a two pack sheet mask so you get two sheet masks in here for a dollar and I went ahead and got the hydrating aloe and this is a two pack sheet mask I always use a hydrating face mask after any type of clay mask like if I'm doing any type of scrub or peel on my skin or if I'm doing any type of clay mask on my skin once I wash that off I always follow up with the hydrating face mask and then go in with the moisturizer. So these are really great. I went ahead and got those. Of course, I'll follow up with you guys. And the final thing that I had got, since I went ahead and got this um, right after Mother's Day, they had these LA Colors Color Grace, um, Color Craze Gel, and I got it in hot pink. So this is more of a neon pink. On on screen, it's showing up bubblegum pink. Let's see if we can change that. It's a neon hot pink, and it is from LA girl, I'm sorry, LA colors, get it together Lynn, get it together. And while we have the lights turned down low, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys these two I got in from Darrell Collection. Um, the first one is On My Mind, uh, always on my mind, and this is a comparison to the My Burberry, by Burberry. Now when I saw these, they did have it open in the store to actually do different testers. I always buy scents and different things like this for me to spray on when I get out the shower. So this is one that I'll spray and use when I get out the shower. And when I tell you, if you guys see this, they had them there. Oh, oh my God. It's, if, if you know what that Burberry spray, if, if you've ever sp smelled my Burberry and you smell this, this smells like, if that's the, oil based one this would smell like this is the water based one it just smells slightly watered down it smells just like that burberry scent just slightly watered down so it may be the body spray that you put on after the shower instead of the full a new perfume so this is one that i highly recommend you guys get if you like this but this scent is slightly floral not too much but it has a lot of wood and musk and just different notes and tones running through the actual scent. When I tell you, it's absolutely stunning. I actually have the My Bearberry, so when I saw this, it smelled it, I was like, that's a banger. I'll be using that one when I get out the shower. You know, when you get out the shower, when you just walk around the house before you go to bed, I always wear sprays like this. And the next one I got is their comparison to Lancome La Vie Belle. I probably said that all wrong. 
but we already know Lynn can't pronounce stuff, so don't get me with this one, guys. But this is Lancy, and Lancy is such a pretty bottle, and that is what she looks like. And all of these are 3.3, yeah, 3.3 fluid ounce of product. And they were $6, but after Mother's Day, they had them marked down to $3. Oh my God. Same thing. If you've ever smelled the La Vie, La Vie Estebella, La Vie Estebella. Okay, that, that scent from Lancome, you guys have seen the commercial. Guys, I'm telling you, if you ever smell this scent, and they're not too strong and overpowering. Now, when you first spray them out, true to form with knockoff fragrances that you get from Walmart, Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, whatever. When they first spray out, they're super strong. But let it dissipate for about 60 to 90 seconds and you'll get that soft fragrance that comes through. That's the reason I said these are excellent for around your house, when you get out the shower, before you get in the bed. If you're like me, I like to smell good 24-7. So even when I get out the shower, I still spray something on. But I don't want to waste a $90, $200 bottle of perfume when I'm getting out the shower and getting in the bed. So I always get things like this. So that was it from Family Dollar. The next thing that we got is coming in from Walgreens. And from Walgreens, when did I purchase this? Okay, so I purchased this back on April 5th. And these were... $13.49 and $8.99. Right there at the top, guys. See, four five twenty nineteen. Why would I at Walgreens at almost 10 o'clock at night? I don't know. I need to get my life. Why would I be getting Arizona teas and all this other stuff this late at night? I will never know. Girl, we have honestly no idea where Lynn is going to be, what time she's going to be there. I'd be at Walgreens. This is, this is pathetic. But anyway, I went ahead and got, it was new at the time. The new CoverGirl New Outlast Active Collection. So I did go ahead and get their Active Outlast Cooling Setting Mist for all day wear. So I'll go ahead and give this a try. Obviously at this point it's too late to take the products back because it's still at like two and a half months later. So I'm pretty stuck with it. I hope that this is actually something that actually works for me. I knew I was in between these two shades. One being lighter and one being darker. So this one is in shade 860, classic tan, which would be my normal shade during the winter time. And this one is, excuse me, H in shade 870, which is toasted almond. So this is the 860 classic tan that I normally wear. Okay, okay. let's put it over here. And because they already had one open in the store, I already knew like, whoa, that is not your girl's color. But when I went in with the darker one that was 870 Toasted Almond, this one was too dark. I knew in between the actual two, if I would just go ahead and just mix them together, I would get my perfect shade to go in and mix them together. So that's what I went ahead and did. And that's Typically what I have to do when I'm getting products, like especially foundation products, it sucks. But in order to get my correct undertone, since my undertones are more of a peachy olive neutral, and from time to time it can go a little golden, I just have to get the different shades and actually just match them in. But we'll actually see how that works. It felt good going on. So I am excited to see how that will actually work for me. Okay, the next thing that we got is coming in from Sally's Beauty. And I did go ahead and check out the collab brand. I wanted to really try to see if this was something that I was going to like, if I was going to be able to use, if it was going to make sense for me. So I've been sitting here watching collab for over a year. And I figured, girl, it's time for you to stop playing around. And let's go ahead and get it. And let's just see if it'll work for us. And I purchased this for 10. This is pathetic. <laughs> this is pathetic. I was supposed to binge show this to you guys. I purchased it on 410 with the different collab items that I actually got from Sally Beauty. I'm gonna need for Lynn to get it together. But you know, you guys, I was sick. I went on vacation and then I had some other stuff happen. And I have another Let's Talk coming up to tell you guys a little bit more information about something else that's happening. 
But the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the Clab Setting Powder. And this is the Set the Stage Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder, and I got the color Almond Caramel. So stupid. Anyway, so this is 10 grams of product, and it does come with a little puff inside, and I hate these little tab things. So let's go ahead and pull this tab. That came out easy. And this is what the color actually looks like. Oh, that's pretty. It's a peachy golden banana. So this shade will be great on women of color who are my shade. You're gonna go about NC, hmm, NC 43 and darker. Anything lighter than NC 43, girl, boo, don't, don't do this. It's gonna be too dark for your under eyes, honey, honey child. Do not do it. But this is really pretty. Because it does have just a slight bit of peach in here, it'll help color correct. So, mm, and it feels really, really soft. And I've heard a lot of amazing things about this powder. So I look forward to this powder actually being able to work. Now, clearly the expiration for me to be able to take it back was June 10th. So at this point, it's gonna have to work or go in the trash. So <laughs> don't be like Lynn. And I also went ahead and got the collab. This is their matte spark lip cream and I got the shade Coco Loco I hate this I hate I can't tell you how many times I accidentally stabbed the product or stabbed my stuff self trying to uh get all these little things open I hate I mean I'm happy they do this because I know it's a sanitary product when I receive it but anyway so let's see Ooh, comes with a dosa okay I want to go to Dairy Queen and I want to get a peanut buster parfait, that thing with the chocolate and the nuts. This smells like the chocolate at Dairy Queen. Girl. And look at that shade. Ooh. It looks metallic, but it's not metallic. It's actually matte. It just it's shining like that because it's wet, guys. Um, I did have a chance to play with these in store. So this is a deep mauve. It's a really pretty mauve. Um, on my color and darker, it's going to be a perfect pinky mauve with just a little bit of silver, just a little bit of silver, guys. But it's still very wearable on tan, deep, and rich skin tones. Now, if you're lighter than me, oh my God, this is gonna go your lips but better. This is gonna give you that Summertime sucking on freeze pops. You know how when you were little and you used to get the freeze pops, and you how it would just turn your lips like not red, but they would be like juicy berry type. <sighs> this, this, this is a summertime color. And even though when you look at it and you see no one wears dark colors in the summertime, boo, if you do it right, yeah, you can. I mean, yeah, you can. That is that is the summertime color. That is not a winter color. Summertime color. So I'm happy about that one. We'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and try that out. We're going to do a collab video. And of course, I went ahead and got two shades of foundation with collab. Um, again, I always have to buy two and mix. I rarely can actually find my skin tone. And of course, I bought this back in April when I was more of my winter shade transitioning into my spring shade. Now I'm, I'm toasted now. I'm all tanned up now. I'm a summer shade now. So we're going to see. But I went ahead and got the shade. This shade right here is going to be Chestnut 9.5, which would have matched me perfectly in the winter. But like I said, I got it in April and I was already starting to tan a little bit. So this one was just a smidge, a smidge it off. So I was like, hmm, might as well go ahead and get the next shade down, which is Mocha number 10. And I don't understand how we do these color jumps. How does one shade darken? We jumped from this shade all the way down. I hate these color jumps with these companies, but I digress. Let's go ahead and... Okay. They have these little security seal things. Okay. And this is the reason why I always wind up cut, cutting myself or hurting myself. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. This is the shade Chestnut, which is 9.5. Okay, and that's the shade 9.5. And when I first got it to wear it, I was like, I'm chestnut. I know I'm chestnut. 
Chestnut how? Chestnut where? I don't I don't know what I was doing. Cause now that I'm tan, it's like so I went ahead and got the shade mocha because at the time, obviously I was drunk or something. I don't know. Cause at the time I'm thinking like, okay, I need to mix in a little bit mocha. Dear Lynn, I'm gonna need for you to get your life. So I was like, yes, mocha, yes. No, Lynn, you're not either. And I was like, okay, maybe if I just take it and mix both of them together, maybe that'll give me my shade. Mixing both of them together, I can work with, but I can't use just chestnut because chestnut is a little too red for me. Even though it's showing a little golden on your screen, guys, it's, it's red. It's, it, it's a, rich, a rich red, but it's not too red. And of course, mocha, it just looks like, it looks like brownie batter. I just wanna, I'm hungry. <laughs> That's, that's, that's got to be what this is. So for me, NC45, NC46 mixed with a little NC50 in the summertime, my shade is going to be 9.5 and 10 mixed together. This one right here on the bottom is going to be my shade. Um, this will probably be my winter shade. It's a little too red, so I will use a yellow setting powder when I set my face to make it work. And this is just going to be a great mixing shade for me to mix in with foundations that are too light. So I'm happy with that, can't complain. One other thing we got in from Sally, which is the Clad Beauty. This is their face and eye highlighting palette. And I got the shade Fairy Nudes. 20 days I'm gonna be doing a video like this. And it's gonna cut out and it's gonna come back with me with a bandage on or something. You're gonna be like, mm-hmm, that idiot didn't cut herself. That idiot didn't cut herself. Okay, so this is the Warm Glow Fairy Nudes. And this thing is just so pretty. Let me turn on the light so I can show you guys. When I saw it in store, I was just like, can you see the shades and the flex of that? There we go. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. So let's go ahead and swatch it while we have it down. Let's watch this one, this one, this one, and this one. Let's go ahead and run these swatches across. And this is what the swatches look like. And they are stunningly pretty. I'm talking about, whew, hold on, let me show you. Not that I need any more highlighter on, but we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna go ahead. When I say the, they have two of these, they have one lighter for lighter complected people, and this one is for the deeper skin tones. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into this one right here. If I turn it to the side, you can see it better with the light coming across it, but it's a goal. And let's go ahead, okay, not that side. This side, so let's make sure you guys can see. That is, that is, that's so pretty guys. Um, Sally's right now, they're running a 30% off a $50 purchase. And these items from Collab Beauty, they were kind of pricey um, for drugstore. It is kind of pricey. Like, all of the five items I got was a little bit over $60. So, right now, they're doing 30% off of $50. So, if you've had your eye on it or if you've been thinking about it with Collab Beauty, now will be the time. At the time, I had a coupon for $20 off of $50. So I went in and got this, and I also got some hair products and some other stuff too. Sorry, they didn't save any money. I went out and spent it. Oh, I digress. You know when you have a coupon and you be going into the store, you think, hey, I'm just gonna get one thing, you wind up getting even more than what you can. Whatever, I digress. Next thing that we got in is, what? It's another Walgreens bag. Okay. Let's see what we got from Walgreens. Oh. Oh, I probably wanted to use this 20% off coupon at Walgreens. I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. Oh my God, that was seven days. Anyway, and why do I have a Taco Bell coupon in the, you know what? This is a judgment free zone. We said we're not gonna judge. So this Walgreens shopping trip happened on the 9th of May, okay? So only a month and a half ago, you know, I went shopping for my kittens and found something else. Yeah, that's pretty pathetic, Lynn. 
Um, the 9th of May, we went to Walgreens for the kittens with all this kitten crap on here. Okay, so I did see the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge that a lot of people were talking about. So I got this and I wanted to check this out and see how this will work. And I did go ahead and from Black Radiance, they had a limited edition Goddess Glow, which is a highlighting powder. And when I saw it, I was like, I ain't gonna lie. The limited edition is what drew me to the product. God knows I didn't need any more highlighters or anything else, but throw the word limited edition on drugstore and I just be like, ooh, let me go try that. Now I don't do I don't go crazy when I see limited edition at Sephora and stuff like that, but at drugstore, I be feeling like, ooh, this may actually be something new. It's really the same old crap they didn't repackaged and gave another name to for the most part. But let's just see how this actually goes. Yeah. What happened to Lynn? She cut her finger playing around with a knife. Okay, so here's the actual product. It doesn't have a smell or anything to it. It's like a little African black woman here looking up at the stars, you guys see that? When I first saw it in the store because it was closed like this, I thought it was ice cream, I'm so stupid. I, everything reminds me of food. But anyway, it's actually an African woman with her head wrapped looking up at the star. So let's go ahead and swatch it. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. So let's see. That is more of a bronze. It's more of a satin across your skin. So it's something you would put on. Okay, if you guys aren't into blinding for days, highlighting like what I have on my face right now, then this is something that would give you more of a natural from within glow. And let's see if you build it up, will it start to get even more glowy? Yeah, yeah. It definitely does. It's not going to shine as bright as the Clab did or as the Wet n Wild, but it still will give you a very beautiful glow. And because looking at it across my skin, it'll blend in with my skin and just looks, it'll give me a healthy look. But I will tell you guys that I don't know if you notice it. Can you see it there? It kind of goes like a bruise a little bit. So. NC45, NC46, be very careful when you're using this particular shade because of how dark it is. Um, if you above NC47, boo, don't use this because it's going to come across as a bruise on your actual cheek. So I would say if you're NC45, NC46, NC47, just be careful and use this with the light hand and turn your face before you leave the house because straight on, if your highlighter is too dark for you, it'll look like you have a bruise right in here. So be careful about that. But now that I've said that, if you're darker than NC47, boo. This is great, especially if you don't like these blinding type highlighters. If you like something that are more melt into your skin, then this is for you. So that's it from Walgreens. Okay, guys. And for the final thing that we had come in, it's from Walmart. <laughs> So, Walmart, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to make an excuse. I, it, 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 there's no reason for me to make any type of excuses about this particular purchase coming in from Walmart. It's just not my fault. Not my fault. Okay, so the first thing that we got from Walmart is makeup related. This is the Maybelline Lasting Fix Makeup Setting Spray. It's up to 16 hour wear and it's supposed to be a matte finish. I haven't seen too many people, I, I, to be honest, I've only seen one person do a review on this and they had an allergic reaction to it. So I got it and thought, hmm, might as well go ahead and try it out too. So you guys will see this in the upcoming video. We're gonna use it, we're gonna see how it actually works and you know, just you know, what makes sense with the product. It really doesn't have a scent, it just smells fresh. Not for breeze fresh, but fresh. It really doesn't have a scent, and you definitely want to go ahead and get that spray, that spray started. And it is one of those fine mist sprays. When I say fine mist spray, I'm not saying that it comes out as a fine mist. I'm saying once it falls on your skin, you can barely feel it. So we'll go ahead and give this a try. We'll see what's happening, what's crackalacking with that one. And that's it for makeup from Walmart, believe it or not. Because I OD'd on hair care, but Again, when I get out the shower, these are my favorite sprays that I love to use. The This one right here is You'll Love Wanna Play. If you like Clinique Happy, and it smells like the watered down version of Clinique Happy. And a lot of times, a lot of these sprays, if you guys remember these sprays from the 90s, 
spray them very lightly when you're getting out the shower, walking around the house, getting in the bed because they can be very strong. And I know a lot of people still use this as their everyday scent. That's exactly how strong and long lasting these sprays are. Especially a little sexy, which is their version of Giorgio Red. So this one is one of my all time favorite ones. And of course, Capri Breeze, which is a Dolce & Gabbana light blue. Like, dude, these sprays, when you see them at Walmart, I always just grab a handful and just throw them in the buggy because I already know I'm going to love them. I adore these sprays, especially if I'm out all day. I'll keep, I'll keep um, two of these sprays in my car or a variation of other sprays that I have in my car. If I'm out all day running errands, in and out of stores, in and out of grocery stores or just whatever it is, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, especially in the heat, you start to smell like the outdoors, which is real crazy because a lot of you who are from the South know your grandparents and parents used to tell you, keep my front door closed, close the screen door. You smell like outdoors, go take a bath. As you're in and out walking from your car to the mall, from your car to Walmart, from your car to Sally's, from your car to the grocery, whatever, you start to smell like the outdoors. You know, even if you have on perfume and everything is fine, it starts to dissipate and just the outdoor smell starts to cling to you. So throughout my day, I'll just spray this over. And Okay, guys, so now we're going to get into the hair care portion of the haul from Walmart. And if you see that on my door over there behind me, see this right here? It's a storm in Atlanta right now. So the sun is playing peekaboo with the clouds. So... Don't think it's paranormal activity. Don't think it's a ghost in the room with me. You know, if so, snatch me up, call 911. City of Atlanta, call 911. Anyway, <laughs> so I love Shea Moisture to death. And I had got this last year in the Ulta haul because I heard it was so amazing. And this is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. And it comes with Morphura and boobob oils it's for extremely dry brittle hair sulfate free and color safe when i tell you i went ahead and picked up two more of these from ulta and i went into walmart they were like 8.99 at walmart but they had a two dollar coupon hanging off of them so i bought like four of them i've already used i got these two and one more around in my actual cabinet where I keep my hair care products at but guys if you guys see these from Shea Moisture definitely go ahead and pick these up these are amazing amazing when I tell you for a deep conditioner with your hair it does help strengthen your hair but it's not a very strong protein and it also moisturizes so after you pre pull your hair shampoo or co-wash your hair and you get ready to go in for your deep conditioner use this now I use about three-fourths of a jar so this will probably use, if I try to be careful, I could probably get three uses out of this. So for me, I deep condition my hair every time I wash my hair. So this is probably what you're looking at, probably a month's supply. You know, I try to be careful and try to only use half a jar, but it never works out like that because I, obviously it, it just doesn't. But this is so amazing and it's so affordable. And what Ulta has, currently right now, Ulta Beauty has their 20% off coupon. So guess what your girl is going to do? You best believe I'm about to hop on Ulta and go ahead because 20%, I think it's like, I think it's, it's $8.99 at Walmart. I think it may be $10.99 at Ulta. So $11 minus 20% off. That's $2.20 from the eleven eight seven. So... It's about, let me not be stupid, about $7.60 at Ulta Beauty with the 20% off discount or at Walmart if you're able to get it at $8.99, but the $2 coupon it drops it down to $6.99, so it's still a good deal. I'll probably go on Ulta Beauty and get like six more of these. That's how much I love these. While I was over there, I saw this Cream of Nature. I love Cream of Nature products. I love Cream of Nature products. So when I saw this, I was like, what is this new black gray stuff? But this is the new Cream of Nature Clay and Charcoal Pre-Shampoo Detoxifying Clay Mask. And it has activated charcoal, rasul, and bentonite clay. Now, for my hair, my hair loves... Bentonite clay, not so much. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't strip it. Bentonite clay is just, it's, 
It's a waste of time. It doesn't really do anything for my hair. But the Rasul clay, the Rasul clay is what my hair loves. It helps strengthen my hair. It helps moisturize my hair. My hair is really addicted to Rasul clay. So when you guys are doing different clay treatments on your hair, pay attention to if it's the Rasul clay, it's the bentonite clay, and it's um, the pink it's the pink clay, I forget what that one is, but pay attention to what your hair likes better. Like, do your curls pop more? Do you notice that your <clears throat> hydration is retained for longer amounts of time? And whatever clay that is, or variation of the clays, <clears throat> that is what you should stock up on. This one not only has the Rasul and Bentonite clay, it also has the apple cider vinegar. And of course it has no mineral oil, no petroleum, and it's a hair mask. When I tell you, okay, this is one use one use so for me it will be the same thing as the shea moisture um it smells so good when i say you can't smell the apple cider vinegar in it but it smells so good and starting out your hair care routine with something that smells this good especially when you take a shower Ooh, when you get in the shower to rinse this pre pool clay mask out of your hair your entire bathroom it's gonna smell like this. It's like the heat of the shower when you start to wash out your pre pools So you wanna go ahead and make sure you lift your strands. You may wanna make sure you open the pores and the shafts on your hair so it go ahead and easily taste the, um, the shampoo or the um, co-wash if you're doing that and leaves into the actual deep conditioner. But when I say, yeah, my hair is, um, bra strap length in the back so that's how much I use with the thickness of my hair and the length of my hair so I need to go back and probably pick up two or three more of these but when I say of all my pre pulls my aloe vera leaf that I use when I just pre pull my hair I just take the aloe vera leaf cut it open cut all the green stuff off the gel leaf thing in the middle the whole leaf I'll take and throw that in a neutral blend it and blend it up and then straighten it out so I don't have those chunks and put that on my hair instead of the steamer for 20 minutes. My hair loves that. And my hair loves the Hello Hydration by Aussie. As the pre poo I'll take and sit underneath the hood and dryer for about 30 minutes with that. My hair loves that, but this, I didn't even sit underneath the hood dryer or a steam dryer. I just literally put this on while I was cleaning up. You know, of course, it creates heat and stuff as you put on your conditioning cap. But my hair loved this. So, yeah, this just became a holy grail just that fast. And Cream of Nature knocked it out of the park with this. Um, the next thing that I got is from True by Made Simple. It's Pure, Clean, and Simple. It's a nourishing leave-in conditioner. Now, I leave this. I use this as a leave-in conditioner when I'm actually doing my braid outs and twist outs. I spray it down with a moisturizing spray, and I'll go ahead and put this over it. And then I'll go into the roots and I'll put a heavy um, grease or cream on my actual roots. And then I'll put like a um, water soluble gel on it to actually keep it in place, braid it up and curl it up or whatever I'm doing. But when I say this, boo, this, and it was on sale for $3 too. But this right here, this product, if you guys ever see it, definitely get it. It has shea, honey, coconut, and man mango. Two of those items really don't play too well on my hair, but I guess combined together, it worked. This has no silicones and no parabens. My hair loves mango, my hair loves honey. My hair doesn't like coconut, and my hair doesn't like shea butter. But blended and combined together with this particular product, I'm guessing that that is what actually worked. But this, the retention, the moisture retention, the retention that I got from this product using my same routine, my hair went from being moisturized for about five or six days so I was able to go up into about eight and a half days before I even had to re-moist and re-moisturize my hair. That's how moisturized my hair was. So I love this. And this is one of the things that I got and I wanted to try. I kept seeing it, kept seeing it everywhere and I could not actually find it in store. I saw the Glam Twins talk about it in their video. I saw some other natural hair YouTubers talk about it in their video. And it is this right here. This is going to be the Shea Moisture Silicone Free Miracle Style Leave-In Treatment. It's um, for all hair types, it's sulfate free and it's color safe. It's pretty much a 10 in one. It has sugar cane extract and metal foam seed. 
and the marshmallow root. My hair loves marshmallow root. So I know anything with marshmallow root has a lot of slip. That's one of the products I look for when I'm looking for a product with slip when it comes to detangling and moisturizing my hair. But this can be used as a leave-in conditioner. It can be used as a heat styler protector before you go in and blow dry your hair. Um, you definitely want to use a different type of heat protector once you blow dry your hair before you go in and slide iron it. But prior to going in and blow drying your hair, you can use this as a heat protector. The first time I used it, I used it all the way down to right here. So this is the bottle and what it should look like and this is what I've used. So in one use, I use that much of the bottle for one use with my hair. Again, my hair is thick. Um, it does have, I do have, you know, I, I do have a little bit of length, but my hair is super thick. And although I am Texlax, guys, Texlax doesn't mean what you think it does. I'm Texlax. I Texlax my hair once or twice a year. So I still have the shrinkage that naturals have. So my hair is still going to shrink up. My hair is still going to be crazy and everything. It, it It is what it is. And I also still have two textures when it comes to my hair. So I'll have my natural hair growing out, which is a 3C, 4A, depending on where it's growing on the top of my head. And then my actual text lax here is more of a wave. So this is more of a 3B. Yeah, 3B. Sometimes I get a little too overzealous and it turns into a 3A, but typically the text lax texture that I try to get with my hair is going to be a 3B. But I have a line of demarcation, guys, and my line of demarcation starts right about right in here. So right now, I have all of this. Okay, let me make sure I'm facing my hand over it. All of this right here is my new growth. So all of this is for a uh, 3C. And then everything else is 3B. So that's just the way my hair is. And that's the way my hair grows. So you can see more like when I actually part my hair. Let's get on down in here. Let's find a root somewhere. Okay, here we go. Okay, come on, Lynn. Get your life. So you can see where, you can see all of this right here. You can see it better right there. All of that is new growth that's coming out. So that's going to be probably right there. We're probably looking at a 4A right there more than likely. And then you see where it actually goes into the wave pattern of the actual hair. So that's just something I want you guys to know when it comes to text lax hair. Uh, it is a little easier to manage the natural hair. But you also have to be very, 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 very up on your vitamins, drinking water, your nutrients, your fruits and vegetables. You also have to keep in mind that you're always playing with a line of demarcation. It's not as severe as a line of demarcation from perm to natural. So I don't really experience too much breakage. But that line of demarcation does present breakage from time to time. Plus, you also have to remember that how you hydrate and take care of this is going to be totally different from how you hydrate and take care of this. So I'm always aiming to make sure this is hydrated the most and taken care of the most. So as long as this is taken care of, then I know this will be taken care of as well. And I don't mind my hair being weighed down, so I'm not one of those text likes girls who's like, um, I don't like my hair being out flat. I don't care. As long as it's not in my way, get on my nerves. I don't care. But that is what we got from Walmart. So everything here was everything concerning my drugstore haul from everything from, I just got these in June. A lot of this stuff, well some of this hair care stuff, I just got in June. So this is everything for me from April, May, and June. All drugstore for hair care, body care, um, makeup, and also fragrance. So if you guys are thinking of anything or if you guys saw anything else new, that I hadn't picked up in this haul. Of course, I'll be coming back talking to you guys about these products after I really get in depth to using them. But if there's anything else that you guys saw that, hey, Lynn, pick this up, try it, and let us know how it is. Does it break you out? You know, does it break apart on oily skin? Or do we just find a new holy grail? Let me know what's out there that you guys see that you guys want me to try. And if I can get my hands on it, I definitely will. But as always, YouTube, thank you so much for spending time with me and coming back and checking for your girl. Again, I don't care if you watch me in the morning, the afternoon, evening, late at night, whenever it may be, boo. I'm just happy that you chose to come spend some time with your girl. And as always, 
Thank you. Until next time. Bye, YouTube.